in this lecture i am going to create registration page and i will display google recapture in registration form first of all let's create a controller to handle all of our auth functionalities so i will create auth controller and then i will create a view page for our registration so let's create a view page under auth folder let's create a folder called auth and inside auth folder i will create a view file for our registration page let's create a view page register.blade.php and i will put some code from home page to register page actually our registration page will also extends main layout and for now just write register and then let's create registration route so i will open my web.php file and inside web.php file i will create the route and the route url will be auth slash registration and it will execute auth controller and then get register method i did not create a get register method yet i will create in a while and i will give a name to this route called get register and after that i will create get register method inside auth controller and i will return the view which i created for registration which is under auth folder and now if i visit auth slash registration you can see our registration page is rendering now i will add some html for registration form i already created html for registration form you can design the registration form as per your requirement or you can get the full source code from this url so let's add the codes to register blade.php file and save the file and if i visit the site and refresh you can see our registration form is rendering now let's add some css for registration page i will add this styles to my CSS and then styles the CSS file and if I refresh the page you can see a beautiful illustration page now I will display Google recapture under terms and condition checkbox to display Google recapture you need to register your site so you need to visit Google recapture admin and you need to register a new site I will use Google Recapture version 2 for development purposes. I will use localhost as domain and then you need to accept terms and conditions. And then let's copy the site key to your .env file. Google Capture key. And then I will store Google Capture Secret to Google Capture Secret variable. So let's copy the Google Capture Secret from here and paste it here. And after that, we need to include a script for displaying Google Recapture. So we need to include this script. Let's copy this and paste it under your main layout so I paste it inside head tag and after that to display Google recapture we need to copy this lines of code and I need to display the Google recapture under the Google uh, terms and condition checkbox and we need to replace site key our site key is under .env file and the variable name is Google Recapture Key. Google Capture Key. Now, if I visit the site and refresh the URL, you can see Google Recapture is displaying. Now, I will add data callback and data expert callback to Google Recapture. 
so I will add data callback and data callback data expert callback to Google data to like that so whenever we will get a successful response for, from Google recapture we will call this method and when the Google recapture expires we will execute this method you can name it as per your choice so I will create this method inside inside my odd.js file which is under public js then odd.js I will create a function call sorry the function name will be recapture data callback register and you can get response as a parameter here and whenever google recapture expire it will execute a function in our case i name this function to recapture expire callback register so we need to create the function and in our registration form we will just add a hidden field so that we can store the response in a in a field in an input field so let's add an input field to registration form and input type is hidden for now just write it as input type text so that we can see the response and whenever we're getting the response from google recapture we will add the value to this field and whenever the google recapture is expired the value of this hidden field will be blank so if i refresh the page and check the google recapture you can see we are getting the response so uh, let's make it input type hidden in the next lecture i will validate our registration form by jquery validator and i will also validate google recapture so stay connected